everybody, Roxbox90 here with another sponsored opening. This one's from abugames.com. So, the, what they sent me, they sent me a ton of Zendikar, I think 18 Zendikar, 3 Future Sight, 3 Onslaught. So, anyway, so, because thanks to ABU Games for the sponsorship, and I'm going to open everything up. Okay, so I guess I'm going to start off. I'll save the really old stuff for last since I may talk some more about that. So let's dive into the Zendikar with the Chandra Ablaze pack. So I'm just going to run through, zoom in a little more so you guys can get some, some nice crispy, there we go. See, so I'm just going to run through the comments and uncommons. You guys probably know these already anyway, since that's been around for a while. Maybe I'll point out some uh, Colony Heart Expedition. Always good, was good in Valakut. Let's uncommons. We have a other figment, Hedron Crab, which is actually pretty s insane for a good mill deck. If you run with landfall, my brother runs into mono blue mill deck. It's pretty cool. A Jawar Isle Refuge. Very nice, cheap EDH land. Definitely recommend those if you don't have a budget. The rare is a Blood Tribute. Then we have a Full Art Island. This is another reason I love Zendikar. Full Art Lands. I'm definitely going to save those. And an Angel Token. Super cool. Not a well, Tearing Peaks. Phenomenal for aggro decks. Not anymore. Computer Crossroads was one of the best white... One of the best lands in general during the the horrible Jace Stoneforge phenomena. And in fact, it also worked really well with Baneslayer. Decks that ran Baneslayer. It's absolutely excellent land. No longer standard, but really neat. Um, a lot of Zendikar lands are good. Gruel Draws, Vampire. I love the art on this card. Check that out. It's like perfect. It's like sinuous, sexy, and vampire. It's awesome. Take all that. Okay. Oh. Awesome. Okay, I'm actually gonna make a separate pile for the for the cards I collect, which Vampire Nighthawk I collect. I absolutely love this card. Inferno Trap. And Vampire Nighthawk is one of the best cards in in uh, mono black creatures. Landbind Ritual and the rare is a Armament Master who's kind of, he's okay, whatever. Then we have a Full Art Plains, not one of my favorite pictures, but whatever, and another Angel Token. Very nice. All right, so. Love that card. All right, we have a Arrow Volley Trap, which actually was pretty decent. Living in Tsunami. Amazing artwork. Kind of an eck card, but still. Quest of the Pure Flame. And the rare is a Conqueror's Pledge, which I think actually makes a playset for me. Very cool. So let me put that aside. My favorite planes. I'm actually trying to get for my Rafik deck three of these foil. I have two of them now. Uh, I'll, I'll, be, I'll take any foil for our land planes, but this is my favorite one. Let's pull that aside. A cool illusion token. A foil full art forest. Very pretty. Super cool. Not my favorite artwork, but still. That is pretty insane. Awesome. Okay. Alright. So let's uh, try to get some. You guys can see the cards. Expedition map, excellent card for EDH. I'll definitely talk about it at one of the videos. I'm sure I'll mention it. It's great. One of the best fetch lands in EDH. All right, uncommons. We have a hmm, a Marasa Pyromancer, a Batloth Cage. Why is our why is there we go? Why is it acting funny? Batloth Cage Trap, a Ravenous Trap. Two traps in a row. The rare is a Blade of the Blood Chief, which used to be a really sick combo with um, with 
blood guest. And then we have the one I just pulled foil. We have a regular one. And we have a core soldier token. Next. Into the royal, one of the best cards, um, control cards when it was in standard. Big favorite. A lot of people liked it. I didn't play a whole lot of standard then. I kind of just, that's fairly new for me. Battle Slaughter Cry, which was reprinted in M12, I'm sure you guys know. Here we go, we got some uncommons. We have a Tarjura Archer. We have a, another Ravenous Trap. Trailblazer Boots, which is kind of funny. It's kind of like a pre prelude to Swift of Boots. And it gives Land Walk, which is a very important ability, particularly in EDH, where it's unblockable as long as the vending player controls a non-basic land. It's pretty sick, and it's a reasonably cheap cost. Not as good as boot, Swift Foot Boots, but still nice. The rare is a Malachar Blood Witch. Really nice vampire. Our first Full Art Swamp. A tip token, and that's it. More random guys. Bloodseeker, pretty sick. Right, uncommons. We have a River Boa. A Colony Gem, very nice for EDH if you're running budget, because it gives you two mana of one color, which is pretty sick. And you can bounce lands. There are some lands that you want to use, you want to do that because it'd be for landfall, or you can do it for protecting, um, putting lands back in your hand if you're worried about something. Pretty neat. A Frontier gar Guide. And the rare is a Verding Catacomb. Super cool. Our first fetch land. Our first mountain. And a Merfolk token. And still cool. Explorer Scope. Excellent, excellent card. Very, very nice. That was really good. Really nice standard pick. Way back when. Uncommons. A other figment. Gatekeeper Malakir. Love this guy. Also, like Nighthawk, super cool. Feast of Blood. Pretty amazing removal if you run solid vampire. And the rare is a summoning trap, which used to be one of the core cards in Valakut. And I guess it still isn't modern, but I'm I haven't looked into that. Mountain, Elemental, I'm feeling a foil. Nice, foil explorer scope. I mean, anybody who follows my channel knows I love foils. Sword Makov. So, Journey to Nowhere, of course, staple good card now. Everyone knows about that, sorry. Finds of Astwood, very nice card to save your guys. If save your generals and other creatures in EDH. It's also a pretty good protection card in gen uh, usually. Have some more. Engine spreading seas, also really solid. Okay, here we go. Oh, another good uncommon. A lot of vampire quality uncommons. Sad it rotated out when Innistrad hit. Vampire Hex Mage, super awesome. Sacrifice it, kill a planeswalker. Or Remove any other counters, so it's a really nice control card. And the two for two on first strike is really sick. I mean, today Gutshot would just obliterate it, but still, it's a really nice card. Trap make a snare. Another frontier guide, and the rare is Pyromancer's Ascension. Very nice card. Some decks in modern run it. In fact, I think it's pretty good. We got another Falar Mountain and a Wolf Token. One of my favorite Wolf Tokens, actually. Pretty cool. Okay. All right. So we have a punishing fire, which I believe was just banned in modern, which is sad, but it's cool. Cobra trap, nice card. Quest of the Holy Relic, and a Halo hunter, which is kind of just kills angels. Super nice. Nice, my favorite. My favorite forest. Flower forest. Then we have a beast token, which is actually really nice for the Ravaging Baloth, which I run in my EDH deck, so that's cool.
Still getting used to my silly camera. Why? Yeah, we got uncommons, we got a Goblin Rune Blaster, a Tajura Archer, a Seascape Aerialist, and the rare is a Bloodgast. Super amazing vampire. In fact, I think the Magic Show was talking about how awesome Bloodgast would be if it was a zombie. Or if there was a zombie like Bloodgast. Which would be absolutely sick in the new set. Bloodgast. Another one of my favorite forests. Actually, I have one of these Japanese, I think. And a snake token. Mole Chambler. Nice EDH card because it destroys a non creature permanent, which includes planeswalkers. So, if you can recur him, very cool. Vampire Lacerator. I absolutely love the art in this guy. It's freaking gorgeous. Yeah, I actually thought about collecting him at one point just because of his art. Okay, on Carmen's we have a Gamoza. Yeah. A Needle Bite Trap. A Hellfire Mongrel. And a Lava Ball Trap. Which is not one of the better traps, but whatever. It's okay. Full Art Planes. Tip Guard. I hate tip cards. Step links, super solid card. Okay, we have a pitfall trap. Uncommon. Merfolk Sea Stalkers. Brave the Elements. And the rare is Rite of Replication. Super sick. Amazing EDH card. Definitely recommend it. A forest. A zombie giant. Super. Shepherd of the Lost. Super powerful, cool card. It's a real bomb in the day. Another Feast of Blood. A Core Duelist. And the rare is a Rampaging Baloth, our first Mythic. And a really solid EDH card, particularly for decks that work landfall. Very nice. Our first island. A cool one. I think we have a foil, but we don't. It's just a tip card. Blazing Torch, which is actually kind of funny. It's very applicable now. Here Dark Ascension. Rune Flare Trap. And the rare is a Goblin Guide. Super, super sick card. Amazing. Still worth stuff because it's great in goblins. We have a Island and a Snake. Another gatekeeper. Mark a mutiny. Pretty nice. Trap maker snare, and the rare is a coral Cosi's trickster. Just kind of whatever. You gotta have whatever rares in the set. A Zendikar Island. A core soldier token. 